geil aus. Das sieht noch nicht so geil aus. We have arrived and we're having a little lunch with our bags because we can't check in yet. But soon. We in Copenhagen. We've made it to our Airbnb. To room tour. MTV Cribs. This is the living room and then we've got one bedroom here, really big TV. Oh, ich finde die Küche so nice. It's so schön. It's so ich cozy. Ich träume von so einer Oder? So cute. So cute. Yeah. And then this is the second bedroom. So it's really, really cute, and we're right in the center of everything. Ooh. Let's get ready for the first show and dinner. back at the Airbnb and we literally missed our first show that we wanted to go to, the 100 show because we all took too long to get ready and so we were late and we didn't realize that the shows actually start on time here so we missed the show but we went to Delphine for dinner and it was so delicious I highly recommend really good drinks, really beautiful setting, really nice food 10 out of 10 <gasps> wow I think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. I think I like this We're taking it easy tonight. We're gonna watch some trash TV, drink okay. some wine, so we can get up bright and early tomorrow. It's already looking so messy, but it's like a nice mess. I think I like this little life. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and we got up bright and early around eight. We've all gotten ready in time. And we're heading to the Pilgrim showroom, which is a really nice jewelry brand. I have so much of their stuff. And I think they hopefully also have coffee and some breakfast because I'm really hungry. I'm excited. The weather's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's a little bit wet and cold. But the girlies are looking cute. I'm wearing this really amazing coat from House of Sunny. I love it because I'm really warm. The girls are going. The girls are girling. The girls are girling. We're at the first show. It's slowly filling up. Yeah, the money has stick for that kind of cool. Let's get this stuff. We're at Sylphen Studios. I'm having mimosa. 
and they do really really cute bags and they've got a little bit of a brunch thing going on for us which we love and the showroom is so cute Bread and butter. Cute, right? Greta already found a really cute outfit. I'm gonna show you later. And I think I have to get this jacket, right? the evening we're getting ready and we had such a full-on day came home had a little john the juice tuna cado watched twilight and had a nap and now we're getting ready for the night that's very cute finding leopard is wieder so in jetzt the bitch is back haben wir eine küchenschere nehmen sie weiter nehmen sie weiter haben wir so eine küchenschere Ja, so eine ich kleine Fassbuchschneide schneiden. Das ist sehr stumm. Ready to go. This is my outfit. But we've made it, or I've made it out of bed. Greta hasn't made it, but I'm going to the Opera Sport Show. I'm meeting Marie, and I've already met a bunch of people from Berlin that are here as well, which is fun. And the sun's out, it's so beautiful. The show is right by the water in the Opera House, which is so, so cool. morning everybody it is Thursday it's our last full day here which is crazy um, I didn't vlog too much yesterday because we were all super hungover and I made it out to a show and we spent some time outside till like 4 p.m. and then I came back to the Airbnb and we all kind of crashed and spent the evening in ordering sushi and watching trash TV but today is another day um, the girls are at a show right now but that was a bit too early for me and I didn't really feel like it so I took a bit longer to get ready and now I'm heading out and we're meeting up for brunch which I'm looking forward to the weather's nice today as well so this is my outfit and you guys don't even want to see the state of this Airbnb right now just girly things we're at breakfast or brunch here yeah. We are ready for the last evening.
à votre demande répétée encore une fois. guys i just finished editing the vlog and i really hope you enjoyed it i had such a fun time in copenhagen it's such a beautiful city i'm back home now as you can tell and i'm still a little bit sick because when i got back my immune system kind of dipped and i was in bed for like three days and now i'm getting a little bit better but it was definitely worth it because i had such a fun time and I feel like I didn't really get to talk that much with you guys during the vlog because there was always something going on but I wanted to do a little outro um, and just tell you guys a little bit about my experience with the trip because actually it was kind of out of my comfort zone for me and I wasn't sure if I was gonna do the trip because I've never been traveling with that group of girls and in that constellation and if you guys don't know Greta is like my closest friend in Berlin I would say and we've been on a bunch of trips together but I haven't been with the rest of the girls and I know them and I really like all of them but to me like going on a trip with so many people like it was five of us in one Airbnb is just out of my comfort zone I don't know that might sound silly to some people but I'm the kind of person where I spend a lot of time by myself which I love and I feel like I need a lot of like space and i get overwhelmed really easily when there's a lot of people around or in social situations which yeah i don't know i've just always been that way i can thrive in social situations as well but yeah just not always and i feel like i really like being by myself as well so i wasn't sure if i should go on the trip or if it would just like be a bit too much for me and i wouldn't have the best time but I just had this like urge to do something a little bit different and out of my comfort zone and I'm so glad that I did it because I had the best time like so much fun and I actually really thrived like having all the girls around me all the time it just felt super comforting which I wasn't expecting at all which has nothing to do with the girls but just like more me and how I yeah just work i guess our airbnb was such a mess by like the second day and there were like clothes and makeup and hair extensions everywhere but it didn't even bother me like it actually felt kind of comforting i don't even know how to explain it but i just like having this like energy of girls or women around me just felt so good and even though i got sick after the trip and i was pretty beat because we also did some partying and it was also really cold and we like weren't dressed well enough most days so i was really beat after the trip but now i also feel like really just inspired from the trip and from all the girls and we did so much bonding and i just had the best time ever and i just wanted to do this little outro to tell you guys that if you are currently thinking about doing something that's out of your comfort zone go ahead and do it and if you're currently thinking about booking a trip go ahead and book it because like every single trip that I do, I come back and like I never regret going anywhere. And that's something that I told myself this year as well. I want to spend way less money on like clothes and expensive bags and stuff and just more money on trips and traveling. And that's my outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in my next vlog. Bye!